Britain, like Harlow, it doesn't pretend to be anything but a suburb. It frankly depends upon London for most of its services. But like Harlow, it is lived in mostly by people of low income. In my opinion, Alton is the most beautiful and satisfactory of any housing project I've seen anywhere in the world. Approaching the estate, you can see the interesting mixture of housing types. As a result, they achieve a very high density without it seeming to be very crowded or getting the intensively built up appearance that you have in many of the developments which are solely apartment houses. Here, as in Harlow, you have the roads of the estate completely separated from the pedestrian circulation so that you can walk all the way through the area on grass instead of on the roads. It should be a good place for children to live and quite safe for play. How do they seem to be able to find enough money to do a beautiful job of landscaping with retaining walls and proper use of paving, textures and materials that is so much more essential than the architecture really? I don't know of any North American projects, well, perhaps one or two, that have had an adequate attention to landscape. This man earns $25 a week, and he pays $7 a week rental for his three-bedroom apartment, a little higher proportion than in Harlow, but still a very reasonable rental by our standards. The apartment, called a maisonette, is on two stories. It has windows on both sides, providing good ventilation and sunny exposures. I rather like this lively backyard architecture. This mixture of high towers and of terraces and row houses gives a variety of accommodation which I think is related to changing family needs and family incomes. This group of shops is like the small neighborhood center in Harlow, isn't it? Yes, it's just for the daily needs because the estate is so close to the big centers and shopping areas of London. The development has its own primary schools within easy walking distance. Low housing will bend to the shape of the land very easily. It's one of the interesting architectural possibilities. High apartment buildings always pose a parking problem because a large number of people are concentrated in a small area. I've noticed in a number of English and European towns that they follow the policy of putting the old people's homes you see here very close to the school grounds. I guess the theory is that between the very young and the very old, there can be a sort of magical relationship, or at least that they can worry each other enough to keep them both a little more human. Architecturally, these homes are quite outstanding. These slab-like buildings raise a fundamental question as to whether this is an appropriate way of living for at least certain stages of family life. My own feeling is that they are to some degree not sympathetic to family life, even with the best of intentions of play spaces and so on at the foot of the buildings and on the roof. But at least in these European examples, they have a lot of garden space around them. 